So we'll go ahead and get started. Fire away. Um, Mark on a story on two, and I know Washington last year against the start ninety percent of the time. Now you'll have a stand up. What kind of position do you have for him? Oh, he's he's playing outside linebacker for us, and so that's a very versatile role. He's done a good job so. Uh, so far in camp and everything we've thrown at him. So it's a little bit different, but you're still in line of scrimmage most of the time. What areas do you think he needs to improve? What areas do you think is conducive to Dean's scheme that he does well? Oh, there's two different positions. You know, you're playing the outside linebacker that's going to be over the tight end a lot, or you're that open side. So you're taking on different kind of blocks. You know, you're, if you're on that open side, then guys can get you over there. Nothing's, you know, 100% because people can move guys around. but. You're taking on a lot of tackles in first, second down on that open side. And on the strong side there, you're usually matched up against more tight ends. And it's how much he can handle, what he can handle coverage-wise will dictate where we put him. Michael. Uh, this guy's talking about Deion Jones. And what do you expect from him this year? You know, playing the inside there and get back. That's the expectation for whoever we put out there at inside linebacker. Uh, there's really good competition. Uh, Deion's done a nice job as well. He's got his weight, his weight's up. And he's playing uh, multiple roles. He's doing, he's doing a nice, nice job of handling every every position we've asked him to because we'll be a multiple defense. And so is Michael Walker, and so is Foyer. And there's really there's good competition. Emmanuel Ellerby showed up, and then Dorian. I mean, all those guys, they're all, they're, they're all fight, fighting it out. Michael, uh, it looked like Hayden maybe got a little bit. He was dropping his head a little bit there right at the end when he got hit. Is there? Anything? I mean, sometimes snap judgments. I mean, he he equipment issue. You know, a lot of times that happens. He's in the practice, uh, no different than Jaden. You know, we're trying to be smart. You know, things happen out here. You got to identify before I could really give you a better answer. We evaluate all of our guys. I mean, our medical team does a great job. There's protocols in place, and we won't cut any corners here. Yeah, he's another guy that we're we've evaluated. Don't consider it anything long term. But, uh, you know, he's now in our return to play protocols. And so every one of those are different. Things are going to come up. As I said, the only thing that's 100% in the NFL is the injury rate. So we're all, everybody's going to be dealing with something, and we're trying to do the best thing for the player and for the team. And the, quickest we can, the quicker we can identify what's wrong, the easier it is to, get, you know, put a program, what the, what the uh, schedule is to get them back out there. So that's the same with every player. We won't cut any corners here. Kevin. Hi, Coach. Hey. Uh, Richie Grant has been looking good. It seems like he's getting more work with the starters. Can you talk about how he's been coming along over the, the first week of camp? Sure. You know, he's embracing uh, his, his role, like whether we, we put him down or put him back in the back end. Um, you know, you can tell he's feeling himself a little bit today he, on a one-on-one, and then he got burned on it later in practice. So you see the highs and the lows. But, uh, no, Richie, in all seriousness, he's – at this rookie class, it's a mature rookie class. They're working through. Uh, pretty happy with their progress so far. They got a long way to go, but pretty happy with how they're coming along. Okay. Coach, uh, on the field or in the film sessions, have you seen guys on the defensive line who are bringing the energy that you like to see early in camp? Yeah. Um, you know, Grady brings it every day. That's why he's a real pro. There's nothing fake about Grady. He practices hard. I mean, everything he does, he walks the walk. Everything you want from a guy that's a leader true leader, authentic up there. And he sets the tone because he's out there practicing and practices hard. Uh, you know, pleased with Marlon. Marlon pushed through today. He's made progress. But all those guys, TQ, Bullard, uh, there's, they're all fighting through. So. Yeah, we, I, the thing is, like, I'm not, we'll adjust. So I've been years where you, know, you plan out your installation and if there's a diminishing return, you know, you need to step back. It's, it's not about how much I know. It's about what they can absorb and you're pushing them. You know, you're not trying to make it. You got to find that fine balance of not make it too easy, what they're handling. Um, so there's times you may pull back. This group's done a really good job offensively, defensively, and with Marquise and, and the special teams. So it's very, very pleased with the progress where we're at so far day six. Well, a few things. I, you know, I don't 
I don't make a lot of assumptions about people from where they went to schools. Um, worked with plenty of Ivy League guys that wouldn't call them the smartest. But uh, and also, <laughs> no, we've got the Yale chapter down here between Foyer and Jaden and then Chandler Henley and then Paul Rice, one of our analysts. Uh, like we said, we have the Yale alumni uh, chapter of Atlanta. So, and then some people accuse me of being biased to Yale. My old man went there. So, but uh, he's done a really nice job. Like we're, he, he had a very productive year last year. He, he's hopefully it's early, but he's taken it over that Mike linebacker role and run with it. So we'll see how it goes. DJ. Coach, uh, you see the offense coming out of the huddle since our RC defense flying around. From a total team perspective, have you seen the level of energy and competition that you want from the entire unit? You know you expect it? No, these guys are, are stepping up to the challenge. It's a fun, really fun group to coach. We know we got a long ways to go. It's a, it's a super competitive league, as you know, every, every Sunday, and you got to go out there and prove it because everybody, everybody feels optimistic right now, and you got to keep perspective. But it's a really fun group to coach. They absorb a lot. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty uh, football intelligent group, and they're doing a nice job. There's a lot of good back and forth. I mean, these are the kind of the first time you're kind of going through a dog, the dog days, I like to call them. You know, you get back, you get to the first week, the newness wears off. Now you get the first day in pads, you come back, and then you know tomorrow will be a really good test for us. Finally up. What is the AJ McCarron's role with this team? I mean, he's been in the league for about eight years, and you're as a backup, and you got Matt Ryan. Now, what, what's his role with this with this team? He kind of um, just said it. I mean, you know, there's a lot that goes into being a backup quarterback, and he's got to you know earn the number two job. And the thing is, when you get in the season, you, you are one play away from being the starter. And it's hard because you don't get as many reps when the season starts. So you, he needs those reps now. He'll need them in the preseason. And then Felipe will be given a chance too. So it's not, nothing's going to be given to him. Um, but that is, that is a very tough role in the NFL because you don't get a lot of reps and you're expected. I mean, it could be the first play of the game or it could be the last. And, you know, the game's on the line. And they got to be ready to roll. So but we, but that's the job we expect them to earn and, and run with. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.